Hi, I'm Storm. And I'm Mike. And we are from Advanced Group. What are we talking about today, Storm? Um, today we are talking about some things that we sell on the website. Yep. And here we have a bracket and two, are these clips? Yep, so these clips are purposely designed so that we can put signs back to back on a um, on a post. Now, um, it's a little bit tricky to mount signs back to back on a post. So we've got an off cut here as an example. Now, um, because there's so many different size posts, um, it's a little bit hard sometimes to have um, the same bracket for every size post or a bracket for every post for every different combination of way you want to do things. Um, now, so, and also some signs, they have to have a, um, a, a strut channel basically riveted onto the sign on the back. Um, and that, some people will call it a ribbing or strut or channel or uni strut or whatever, but this is not uni strut brand. It's, um, this is a special uh, aluminium strut channel, which is for signs that are wider than 750 mil wide. And, um, more commonly seen in uh, New South Wales than Victoria uh, and also other states as well. So um, there is a version of uh, strut channel, which is, we, we call it a uni strut channel, um, which is um, steel rather than aluminium and we use that in Victoria. Um, however, um, the aluminium can sometimes be used in Victoria as well. Um, it's not a hard and fast rule and um, sometimes we'll deliberately choose this, especially because we have to do back-to-back -back signs on a certain pole of a certain diameter. Mm -hmm. And so this video is about these clips that allow signs that have this strut channel uh, riveted onto the back of the signs to be able to go back-to-back -back on a post where it will have a neat and tidy look at the end of it and be able to last a long time in the elements and um, yeah, basically be strong enough to, to hold those signs there. Yep. yep. So what we're selling together here is yep. the two clips and the two bolts. Yep. So um, generally uh, you would need, if you're going to do signs back to back and if you have the strut channel on the backs of the signs, you would need two of these clips with that come with the two bolts per um, per level of, of strut channel uh, because normally with the strut channel you have like multiple um, levels of the of the strut channel on the back of the sign. Um, it's generally a sign that's fairly big. So, you know, the smallest that you might find something like that might be 800 mil, say square or round or something like that. Uh, but it could go all the way up to, you know, one meter, 1.2 meters. Um, two meters, etc. Um, when it comes to road signs, um, you know they need to be quite large sometimes for them to be able to be read from a distance and legible um, from that distance. So you get big letters, big words, big signs, and um, that's generally how these um, um, us when where you see the signs in this sort of um, format. Um, what are these clips made out of? Uh, so galvanized steel. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's uh, electroplated um, for uh, corrosion resistance. Yeah. Yep. Is there a way of demonstrating how this all goes together? Yep. Um, probably should have had another piece of um, strut channel for this uh, for this video, but um, uh, for the sake of this video, we'll show you how it works. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so, say for example, if you have a um, larger diameter pole than a normal one. Um, now, this is not perfect for these clips, however. Um, we can still demonstrate it. So uh, you'll see the profile of this strut channel. Um, it has uh, a couple of fins in the middle. So it's like a U channel or C channel with a couple of fins there. Now, uh, this part of the clip can get slid into, the, uh, into that part of the channel. Um, and so if you have two of these um, in the channel there, then that uh, gives you the ability to put some um, some nuts. We've got special uh, bolts and nuts. These are a cup head bolt. Um, some people might call them a, uh, a, a coach bolt. Um, technically, um, I think you could probably use either term. Um, so there is this thing called a mushroom head bolt, but this is more commonly called a, um, 
uh, cup head bolt. Now this is designed so that if, say for example, um, we've got one piece of strut on one sign, on the back of one sign, then you'd have the other sign with the strut channel. So if we were to imagine that that's the other um, on the other sign, um, and into the channel on the other side, these cup head bolts can uh, slide in here. And because they've got on the shaft, they've got uh, some square profile part at the end there, that allows the bolt to go into, into here and not be able to twist within the uh, strut channel. And that way you are able to uh, put the bolt, uh, the thread of the bolt through the hole in the other side of this channel clip and then do up the nut and the dimensions of this folded piece of, of steel are perfect so that whatever size this is designed for for the post um, as you tighten this nut uh, it's going to tighten the two signs against the pole so that it can't um, rotate on the pole or move um, up and down so um, <clears throat> now we haven't got the other piece of um, strut channel to demonstrate it in this video but um, as you can see uh, the way that it's designed is so that this clip can go in here um, or the other way around is is, is uh, how we've demonstrated with this where there's um, on the other side you would have the, the cup head bolt with the, the nut that's going to tension it all up. Yep and do they come in a range of sizes? Yep, yep. so um, this particular Bracket has printed on it what size it is. This is for an 89 millimeter um, post. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, yeah, you can get all different size posts uh, ranging from 60 mil OD right up to um, 220 mil OD. Um, and the brackets come in all the range of sizes that, that most sign posts or posts might be out in public where um, you're able to get the right size bracket for the right size post to be able to make your signs up like that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, in this instance, is it worth getting theft proof bolts? Um, I probably would avoid it. Um, yeah. It's the kind of thing that um, I guess would be much less likely to be stolen. Um, uh, street name signs can get stolen, but just general parking signs, say at a shopping centre, far less likely to be stolen. And so, um, yeah, so ha having ha make. having to, to to use anti theft um, system would, would be um, probably a bit of a waste and more time consuming to install if someone had to rearrange the the height of the sign or the location of the sign. Um, and if someone was really worried about it. They could always um, have a welder come to site and weld the nut to the thread, um, which um, in very rare situations we have done stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, but it's like, yeah, almost never. Yep. So these are specifically for this size pole? Uh, this is a 76 mil OD post. It's just an example for the video. Yep. Um, so this bracket wouldn't fit with this, mm -hmm. but we don't have the two pieces of um, strut channel to demonstrate it properly anyway. So yep. um, this video might be able to be used in all of the different range of the brackets because it's the same concept for all of them. Mm -hmm. um, it's just different lengths of the brackets that's the only difference in the change of them. Yep. Yep. And no one would change the color of these for any reason? No, these are almost virtually hidden. So um, when you make a sign with strut channel bracing on it, you'd normally um, end the bracing um, a fair bit shy, maybe one or two inches shy of the edge of the sign. So you can't really see it unless you're like peeking in. Mm -hmm. um, and so with the um, channel so far in from the sides of the sign, um, you would have basically, you would have the face of the sign completely covering this strut channel. It's only from the side that you would see it. and um, um there's not really a, a whole you know number of great ways to to put a sign onto a um onto a post neatly unless the frame is made spe specially to hide the internal components um and that's a completely different sort of sign you know you you get people with gantry signs and things like that where um it's made specially for 
um, for a high end purpose, but this is more for like um, industrial use. Say, for example, just telling people it's an eight hour car park or a four hour car park or a two hour car park at a shopping center or designated for, you know, Woolworths customers or Coles customers, et cetera. So um, typically it's, it's, uh, it's just an industrial purpose sign um, component. Yep. Yeah. Um, I don't have any other questions. Yep. Anything else we could know about this? Not a lot. Um, uh, I think that's probably about it. So um, if you want to buy these clips, you can find them on our website. We call them back-to-back -back clips. And um, uh, one unit would be the clip, the uh, cuphead bolt, and, and a nut. So uh, for every layer level of um, strut channel, you would need two. Um, so just be aware when you're counting up uh, you know, how many posts, how many pieces of strut channel on the backs of the signs, make sure that you get uh, enough brackets so that you're not um, caught short. If you're thinking that this is not one, this is not one, this is one basically. Okay. Yep. 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 Um, yeah, so head to www.advancedscript.com.au and if you like this video, you want to see more videos like this, you can hit like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Thanks. Bye.